So this is the third and final uh, film of my residency. Um, and it's probably one of the most crucial ones. That's what I'm feeling at the moment because even though it concludes and rounds up um, my time here, I also think it gives me an opportunity to reflect back on what I've done, but also think very significantly about what I'm going to do. When I started out uh, on the residency, I was, I was trying to discover um, Caribbean tales, but not just discover them, uh, really find out where they'd come from, their history, their relationship to different people, if they still exist now with the same effect and impact, uh, and also what their purpose is. And what I mean by that is I was quite interested in if they comfort people, you know, is that why we still use them? Is that why we hold on to them so tight? And that was where I was starting when I first uh, began the residency. And as I've gone along, it's, I'd say that I've still kept that in mind, but I have steered away from it slightly and got more interested in the power of the, of the tales uh, and the currency of the tales, not just as myths and folklore, but actually as generational wealth. And that has been probably the most biggest revelation for me, was understanding that my grandparents, my great grandparents, what they have passed down to me is in fact these tales and what do I do with them, you know? Um, am I going to treat them with the same caution and, um, and gentleness as I would if they gave me an heirloom, if they passed down maybe a piece of jewellery or a china set or something like that. And so I've been trying to have that same approach with these tales, uh, being quite cautious with them, being quite gentle, quite protective. Um, and putting them on this pedestal, I guess, in a way that makes them look as if they're worth so much, um, which they are to me in, in this way. So I've, I've, I've been on an adventure with what tales I found, tales that exist, you know, within the Caribbean as well as in Britain, as well as some other areas, actually. I, some of my guests that came in to the studio contributed some brilliant tales from their own home countries. Um, and I've been looking at that, but I've really tried to visualize them in uh, an interesting way, a way that was interesting to me anyway. And where I'm heading with this now is that I'm quite fascinated with the methods used in Caribbean folk art. So when I did take my trip to Jamaica, I was quite obsessed with the hand-painted aspect of the country, um, the painting, the text, uh, the colours, that, that really was, was a thing that drew my attention. I'm, I'm interested in not just text but materials, um, looking at, you know, my own approach which was me painting and drawing onto handkerchiefs, onto uh, pieces of wood, onto old cups and mugs. And that is something that is seen quite commonly as well in Caribbean folk art, you know, painting onto pieces of bamboo, using sugar cane, using wood, um, using enamel and things like that. So I think that's where I want to explore. So one major part of, of my practice something that's always been a part of my practice um, and I think always will be is writing, my relationship with writing. Um, I've always loved experimenting with the English language and, and with poetry and what I can do with that and uh, you see it a lot throughout my practice is this idea of letters and writing letters, automatic writing, free writing, these different methods and approaches and I did use that in this residency which when I first started I, I didn't think I would. I thought I would, I'd be in a gallery and that meant I need to paint something or build something. Um, but whenever I was stuck, whenever I hit a creative wall, I just went immediately back to what I knew and, and my default setting, which was to write. Um, and you can see that in some of, the, uh, some of the work that I did produce, where I've done automatic writing and, and poetry and things on top of pieces of wood, on top of photographs. Uh, and I think there's something quite rich in those that I, I would also like to explore.